Hey Onda, thanks for watching Doing Life with Jenny. If you are new here, my normal intro is, Hi, I'm Jenny from the U.S. I'm a Spanish teacher, but I'm moving to Mexico to the state of Hidalgo. But as you see in the title, that is no longer the case. I'm going to explain the reasons here shortly. For now, I apologize. I don't have a mic today because I recorded this last night. It was supposed to be ready for you yesterday, but it's making this staticky noise. The leg on my tripod is also not standing up straight. I was supposed to get my new tripod in last night, but Amazon is running behind. So I apologize that the audio might be a little quiet and I might be a little crooked. But here Be sure to stick around to the very end of the video so you know what my new plan is. But here we go the four reasons why I am no longer moving to Mexico. Please know that this was a very, very difficult decision. Even as I'm recording the video, I'm still torn because it's something I've wanted for so long. It's something that I've obviously been working very hard towards. Um, I'm still not 100% sure that I've made the right decision, but, but I think it is the best decision for at least the time being. Reason number one, now that I sold my house and car in preparation to move to Mexico, I just feel so much financial freedom. When I had the house and the new car, like I was very obligated to work as much as I was just to cover any expenses I might have with the home repairs, um, to be able to still go and enjoy life. And as you know from previous videos, it was just very stressful. And part of moving to Mexico was to not have to work so many jobs. But now that I don't have the house or car here in the apartment here with a, an old car that I paid cash for, like I'm doing really well financially. So it's like, okay, what's, what's the point of moving to a new country if I'm happy here where I am? My teaching job more than covers my expenses. I have lots of flexibility in the budget. I'm actually in a place financially where I would be able to travel a lot if I wanted to. Well, I'd still have to show up for work, obviously, but I could spend more time traveling in the summer and I could afford the expensive flights at holidays like Christmas. Reason number two, I've been having a lot of anxiety lately over the move. And I think sometimes that's just your body's way of saying, hey, this isn't the right situation. Um, it kind of started when I went down to Mexico at the beginning of November, when I saw the house there, like almost completely finished, it just felt very real because for the most part, I've been in the States while everything's happening in Mexico. Yeah, I've received videos and photos, but it was just different when I showed up and there, there's my house. It felt very, very real. And at that moment, it was like, holy smokes, like, what am I doing? Like, and ever since I got home from that trip, I've been having panic attacks about the situation. Reason number three is for my safety. My new town in Mexico, well, what was going to be my new town, its crime rate is 121% higher than the national average. And I know I've talked a lot about safety, but that stat I came across the other day was a bit worrisome, especially since I'm a single female. And before I go on to the final reason, reason number four, just again, please stay tuned until the very end so you can see what the new plan is. But reason number four is because of my dietary restrictions. As many of you know, I'm vegan. I have some food intolerances. I can't eat wheat, garlic, onion, beans, apples. The list goes on and on and on. And being in a small town in Mexico, there just are no options. I would have to cook at home all of the time which is fine, except for I'm not a very good cook. Even if I honestly try, it's just not my forte. And being able to enjoy a meal with friends and family is just very important in Mexican culture. And I think I would just feel very isolated. Um, I do it to an extent here as well, but just the vegan options are a little more accessible. I mean, I don't live in a big city in the States either. I'm in Alton, Illinois. Um, a lot of times I do have to go into the city, St. Louis, to get good vegan food, but at least there are some options. Like there are people that offer the Impossible Burger, at least the grocery store has lots of options. Um, so I just need to take that into consideration as well. Again, this has just been a very difficult decision. 
And before I tell you what my new plan is, I just need to be honest with you and tell you Happy Holy Innocence Day. This is the equivalent of Mexican April Fool's Day. I got you. I got you big time. So today is Dia de los Inocentes, Holy Innocence Day, December 28th. It is the day that King Herod demanded that all baby boys be murdered because he had heard that the king, King Jesus, had been born and he was worried that, I guess, King Jesus would be taking over his throne. So it's a day that Mexicans play jokes on each other and you fell for it. Of course, I am still moving to Mexico. Um, in the next video, I will share my plans for 2023 because there might be some changes, so be watching for that. So to clarify my points I gave earlier, there is some truth to them, but there are also some big fat lies, so let me go through this. One, yes, I do feel financial freedom by living in this apartment and by having an older car, but I also know that rent can and will go up year after year, and although it might be comfortable now, who's to say it won't go up $200 next year, even though my paycheck barely keeps up with inflation. Um, by having a house, the mortgage is never going to go up and I'm not going to have a mortgage. I paid cash for my house. So to live a safe lifestyle in the U.S., yeah, as a teacher, as a single teacher, I'm always going to have to have at least one side hustle. The second point I gave was anxiety. I haven't been having any anxiety. If anything, I've been having anxiety going to work. Um, there's been a bit of nervousness around the move, but like in a good, exciting way, like any big step you take, there should be some kind of nervousness, right? The third point about the crime stat being 121% over the national average, that is the crime stat for here in Alton, Illinois, 121% over the national average, the nation being the U.S not Mexico. The town in Mexico is relatively safe. I have commented on that topic several times now. The fourth point about the dietary restrictions, yes, I have those and no, there are no like real options in my town. Like there's no vegan restaurant or restaurant with an actual vegan option besides like french fries or something, but it's kind of the same here in Alton. There are a couple options, but not like a vegan restaurant. I always have to go to St. Louis or a nearby city called Edwardsville or Florissant across the river in Missouri. Um, so it's going to be the same thing there. I have to go into the city of Pachuca where there are lots of vegan options. Um, I even bet that the grocery stores in my town will have vegan options. Just the restaurants won't. The grocery stores will. And I also chose the location of my house or land. Um, because of its proximity to Mexico City. It's about two hours away on a bus and Mexico City has so, so, so many wonderful vegan options. So I'm not gonna feel like I'm missing out any more than I do here already. But sorry about the prank, kind of. Thank you so much for watching today. If you would like to continue and follow me in my journey in moving from the US to Mexico, be sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. See you in the next video.